Hello, Bit, developer of Deep Drive Baseball. Deep Drive Baseball is a game played on your tabletop simulating baseball using cards. Represented by individual cards that are constructed using objective algorithms, ensuring highly realistic results. To purchase Deep Drive Baseball, go to deepdrivebaseball.com and click the store link. At the store, you can choose from any season I have created to date. When you purchase a season, you'll receive a zip file which contains several PDF files, including the rule book. The season handbook, which includes charts specific to that season, and PDF files for each team. The team files can be printed out in sheets with nine player cards per page. Those pages can be bound together and used as is, or you can cut them out into individual cards. Now you know what Deep Drive Baseball is, but how does it work? Each plate appearance of a baseball game is typically resolved with a single roll of three ten-sided dice. Baseball uses a 50-50 game engine. 50% of your rolls will be read off of the batter's card and 50% off of the pitcher's card. Red and white dice as a percentile. The, reds die, the red die acting as your tens digit and the white die as your ones, yielding a result between 0 and 99. The green die, to as the modifier die, is used to fine tune your roll as needed, typically determining the type of out. Let's look at some player cards. Here, we have two separate batter cards from Deep Drive Baseball. Even without looking at the player stat lines across the bottom of their cards, you can look at the ranges present on each card and get a pretty good feel for the differences between the two. One of these has seven Deep Drive rating, uh, readings on their card to 06, while the other has just two. 0 and 01. One of them has nine singles from 07. The other only two, 02 and 03. One draws a fair number of walks, six chances, not to mention a very high three chances of being hit by a pitch. The other has only one chance at each. One of them has no strikeout readings on their card. The other has 13. One of these cards has quite a few chances to hit into double plays from the out section of their card, three to be specific. The other card has just one hard ground ball out. One of these cards will rarely attempt to steal bases, although he will often be successful. The other card will often attempt to steal bases, but has a low success rate. One of these cards will likely advance only one base at a time on singles. The other will frequently take an extra base. In Deep Drive Baseball also receive individual fielding ratings that reflect their ability to get to balls in play as well as how often they commit errors. For example, might result in a few extra hits and the occasional error while they're playing in left field. While this card will take hits away, turn more double plays, and almost never commit a fielding error. We can also take a look at pitcher cards in Deep Drive Baseball. Again, a cursory glance at the card ranges will give you an indication of how the player cards will perform in a game. One of these cards might allow an extra base hit on three readings from 50 to 52. 
The other card, however, does so on five chances, from 50 to 54. One will likely allow a base runner on eight total chances, from 50 to 57. The other has 16 chances, twice as many as the other card, to 65. The card on the right has a respectable 13 strikeout readings, but that's nothing compared in on the left. And that's especially nothing compared to something like this, where 31 of the 50 readings on this card being a strikeout. Pitchers are rated for their ability to prevent stolen bases. While both of these are excellent pitcher cards, one of them is good at preventing stolen bases with a minus one hold rating next to their fielding rating, while the other is poor, plus two hold rating for those rare times he actually allows a base runner. Pitchers, receiving, uh, pitchers receive individual ratings for how frequently they allow wild pitches and box, as well as how often they pick runners off. The card on the left will rarely throw a wild pitch, commit the occasional balk, and pick off a fair share of base runners. It is nearly the opposite, frequently serving up wild pitches, never balking, and picking off runners at about a league average rate. I hope you enjoyed this quick lick at the game on Deep Drive Baseball. Visit me at deepdrivebaseball.com facebook.com slash deepdrivebaseball, or twitter.com slash deepdrivegame.